In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this grime effect, also known as zombie effect, using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Drool here, back with another video, and as you can see, this is the final output. Now, as you can see, it's completely 2D effect. So to create this, all you need is brush tool. So basically, you can create it in any version of Photoshop. And you can also create it in MS Paint if you are ballsy enough, um, up to you. So to create this effect, let's open the photo. I'm gonna go to File, Open and select the model photo, open it. Now first of all, let's double click on the background, unlock it. Now first I'm gonna go and create outline for the face, nose and lips. Uh, so go and create new blank layer. It's really important, don't forget to do it. Create a new blank layer from the second last icon. Double click on your layer 1 and uh, name it Outline. Also naming your layers is really important in this tutorial so note that. Now for the outline I'm gonna go and select solid black color, right click, uh, sorry right click here and my hardness is somewhere around uh, let's say 90%, 80%, okay so 80 seems fine. And after that in the brush size i'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around let's say 10 pixels should be enough then i'm gonna go and start drawing now obviously uh, i would recommend creating this effect with tablet but i know many of my viewers won't have this tablet so i'm gonna go and create entire effect using mouse and also the one you saw in intro i created that with mouse so let's go and create it Now for the eyebrows, I'm gonna go and just fill them with solid black. And also if you screw up, uh, you can simply just take your eraser, right click, make sure hardness is like 80-90%, something like this. And then you can erase it as well. And also for the eyes and nose, I'm gonna go and reduce the brush size one uh, by one pixel. So it's like uh, maybe let's say nine uh, should be enough. And also in the hardness, I'm gonna go and keep it like 30-40% uh, because I don't want really strong edges. So then go and draw it. And when it comes to really small details like teeth, I'm gonna go and make it even smaller, so... Okay, so I think we are done with the outlines and to actually see what we have accomplished, I'm gonna go and create a white layer. So to do that, go and create new blank layer, uh, rename it to just white. Uh, and then put it under your outline. Now on this blank layer, select your paint bucket tool, right click here, select paint bucket, and in the color, select white and fill it. So now we can see what we have drawn. Okay, so this looks all right. Uh, the outer edges could have been better, but uh, it's okay. Now I'm gonna go and uh, hide the eye of this one and again, select my outline. Okay, so now we're gonna add two more things. One, uh, eye bags, and second, we will add all the dripping lines. So to do that, I'm gonna go and select my brush and for the eye bags, I'm gonna go and make them a bit more thicker. So I think this should be enough, uh, 10 pixel, and then go and start drawing. Oops, wrong color. And for the eye bags, as you can see here, I'm going for this dripping look and going over the eyes. And of course, the more time you give it to, uh, like to the project, the more satisfying the output will be. So I think this is <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to try again. Okay, this is better and same on this side. Uh, this is done now comes the most tedious part of the process, but it is also the most important 
uh, the same way we created this dripping effect here we will create it all over the face and also we will create really small dripping effect inside the eye bags okay so i'm gonna go and first of all start with the eye bags uh, so we can you know it's quicker compared to the face so to do here also go and make sure your brush is smaller so i'm gonna go and start doing it So as you can see now after the details it looks much better and it will look even amazing after we add the colors. So the eyes are done and now I'm gonna go and do the same detail on entire face but this time I'm gonna increase my brush size a little bit so uh, maybe 8 pixels should be enough or maybe 9 and then go start doing it. So all the dripping is done and as you can see now the effect is taking place but we need to do one more thing we're gonna go and create the drops that are actually dropping outside the face and also on the ear so to, to create them it's actually pretty easy all you have to do is just go and draw outside so first we will paint the drops that are going outside Now once you are satisfied with all the drops that you have drawn, uh, you can go and erase the line that's in between here, the edge on the face and it will create illusion that drops uh, are actually falling outside of the face. It's actually a pretty simple trick and very effective. Okay, so finally all the detail work is done and we can start working on colors uh, and before that let's look at how it looks on white background. So this is how it looks and I think I'm quite happy with it. So let's turn off the white layer and now comes uh, all the coloring and to do that let's first create all the base color for the face and for that I'm gonna create new blank layer and rename it to face. And this layer will go under the outline so whatever we paint stays under the lines. Uh, so I'm gonna go and go to my color palette and for the you can create uh, select any crazy color So for this one, I'm gonna go and select uh, 00 uh, D 7 DD so this is the color then go and hit ok now I'm gonna go and make my brush a bit bigger so uh, Softer harder doesn't matter, but I think keeping hardness around like 80 90 helps a lot So go and start painting and just make sure that whenever you paint it doesn't go outside this border that's it. Okay, so the face paint is done and now we can finally see in what direction the effect is going and I think it's going in right direction. So the face paint is done, now let's go and be done with eyes and teeth. So to do that, again go and create new blank layer, make sure it's under your outline, double click here and rename it eyes and teeth. And for both of them, I'm gonna select solid white color, so go here, select solid white, hit OK and fill it. Okay, so eyes and teeth are done. Now let's go and do the lips. So again, create new blank layer, uh, double click and rename it lips. And for the lip, I'm gonna go and select a nice red color. So it goes very well with the blue skin color. And for the lip, the code is 930812. So pretty good red color, go and hit OK. And then paint it inside the lips.
looking good and also i forgot to do the details inside the lips and since we are on separate layer i can simply go to my outline layer select my brush select black color and then paint in the details that i want to paint Okay, now looks much better, but as you can see the lips, they still look a little bit flat. So I'm going to go and add highlight. So for that, activate your lip layer, then create a new blank layer, rename it to lip highlight. And for the highlight color, I'm going to go and select another shade of this red. So the code is, let's go to the color here. And the code is B32G2 G2 So the G key on my keyboard has stopped working. So I'm going to use on-screen keyboard. So the, basically the code is B32, then G. Okay, why, why can't I do this? Uh, go here. Okay, so it won't allow me to type in this box using this keyboard. So I'm going to go to my notepad, then I will type G here. Then I will go here, copy this G. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, no, don't save. Then I'll come back here, right click and wait, I still can paste it here, right? Okay, G and what's next? It's two G, so two and one more G, so G. So this is exactly the color that I'm gonna use, B32, uh, G to G. Okay, this is the color that I'm gonna use uh, for the highlight, then go hit okay, uh, and then go and close it. I hope the G key doesn't come up again in the tutorial. So now go and paint on the edges to give it more, you know, highlight. Okay, so as you saw, uh, the color still didn't work out for some reason, it was wrong. So I went back to my original file, I used my color picker tool, I picked up color from there, then I came back here and then I used that color, which I should have done in the first place, but I'm an idiot. Okay, so the lips are done, uh, and now let's go and finish up the eye bags. So for that, go and create new blank layer and rename it eye bags. And for the eye bag, let's go in here and what's the code? It's C A 0 C uh, 4 F okay thank god no G so this is good then go and hit okay and I'm gonna go and start painting in and I think uh, this is gonna okay select the brush not the eraser okay I think this is gonna be a bit difficult because lines are really thin but I'm gonna do my best So the eye bags are done. Man, this thing demands your patience real good. So uh, eye bags are done and basic color work is also done. Uh, now we will add the shadows and the highlights. So I'm gonna start with the highlights and for that go and create new blank layer and of course rename it highlight. And I know it's becoming really tedious process doing these lines but believe me since we already have this line for reference it's not gonna take too much time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and select a solid white color uh, and then I will paint uh, with the brush that is a bit smaller than my actual line here. So I think seven should be enough and then I will paint here things like this. It doesn't have to be accurate. Uh, I think this is also enough. You don't have to do everything in detail but make sure that it's visible and you do it on every curve. Not gonna take too much time, believe me. So all the highlight work is done and now last thing we need to add are the shadows and they also gonna take a lot of time. So the shadows are a bit different than the highlights, uh, let me explain you how. The shadows they will go exactly on top of your face. So activate your face layer then create new blank layer and rename it to shadows. 
and also for the shadows I'm not gonna use black color obviously so this time I'm gonna go and select the color code 038286 so it's kind of darker shade of the color we have on the face so I'm gonna go and hit ok now uh, just like the highlights I'm gonna go and add it everywhere on this lines as you can see here like this but in addition to that because uh, that's not enough I'm gonna go and also add it on couple other places but before we do that I'm actually gonna go and turn on my clipping mask let me explain you why because uh, let's say for example I need a shadow here like this okay so it's actually going outside and I don't want to spend too much time uh, like perfecting it so what I'm gonna do see it's actually here so after that I'm gonna right click on the layer and then select create clipping mask so the shadow will not go outside of the color we painted on the face so it basically won't go outside this which is really really big time saver so I'm gonna go take my eraser and then fine tune this shadow here on the face and also I'm gonna go and add a shadow here and since I don't want it inside here I'm gonna take my eraser tool make it smaller uh, you can use shortcut key E for the eraser so go and use this one okay so the neck is done and also the side face is done also I'm gonna go and add a shadow here so select a brush tool again and then I will paint it here like this and same thing with the ear so I'm gonna go and add some shadows here so we can feel some depth inside the ear and it doesn't look very flat so as you can see I did shadows in all the bigger parts so if I turn it on and off uh, as you can see it makes really big difference and you should spend enough time in it and now for the final part I'm gonna go and add shadows to each and every drip just like I did with the highlights wish me luck Okay, so finally, finally, after like what I'm recording for more than an hour, uh, the final effect is ready and this is how it should look like. Like it's not the perfect example because we rushed a lot of things, uh, but this is the process that you should follow to create this effect. And the one real big advantage of this thing is that in case if you want to change any colors, it's super easy. Let's say don't like the color of the face, activate the face, go to image, adjustment and then select hue saturation and then change it to any color you like so let's say we go with uh, yellow color okay then hit okay now go to your shadows go to image adjustment and then go to hue saturation and here go and change it to the color that works with your shadows so i think this looks good hit okay and boom completely different look so that's it and this is the final output and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. I really really hope that you learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop.